what first comes to mind is uh, how difficult it must be for wealthy people to deal with their addiction because particularly if they're famous you know how do you admit that you have a problem what what's your exposure there and who do you trust Well, it's actually been my experience when I, I, I work with uh, families and individuals that um, I think the treatment needs to be more sensitive to the um, situation of the client in, in all uh, levels of society. But I think particularly with wealth, the stresses that they might be under, uh, the conditions, the distrust, the being taken advantage of. Um, and also, you know, that other thing about, well, you're wealthy, you shouldn't have any problems. You know, that often gets in the way of therapy. So I think, I think rather than a different treatment, it's more about the sensitivity, right? As you would be to also different cultures. I think luxury treatment has a place. First, of, first and foremost, the treatment has to be good. Whether it's luxury or not, at the end of the day, does the treatment work? And then I think luxury treatment, again, should be sensitive of, to the reputation of the client and to the needs of the client, what, how much privacy they require. So I think in that case, yes, there is definitely a place for that.